Welcome to Eagles Concept Learning Room. In this video, I want to teach you on how to deal with F geometry. And this is a topic that comes in both paper one and paper two. Please like our Facebook page at Eagles Concept Academy and subscribe to this channel at Eagles Concept Learning Room. Just click on that subscribe button and get access to more of our videos that will definitely help you in the exams. All right, so F geometry is a branch of mathematics that deals with locating of points, which are also known as coordinates on the Earth's surface, calculating distances on the Earth's surface, calculating time differences, and calculating speed. All right, so in this video, we're going to show you how to locate the points, how to calculate the distances, how to also calculate the time differences and how to calculate speed. These are all concepts that will appear in your examinations, whether you like it or not. All right, the shape of the Earth is spherical and the Earth has a radius of 6,370 kilometers or 3,437 nautical miles. Now, what this means is that when you convert these kilometers, they are going to give you these nautical miles. So radius with a capital letter R in kilometers is 6370, whereas in nautical miles, it is 3437. All right. The Earth is made up of imaginary lines that are drawn on it. And one of them is the latitudes. So latitudes are imaginary lines that are drawn on the Earth's surface and they run from east uh, from east to west like this. So now here, as you can see, this is a solid line that has been drawn. Then behind is another dotted line here. So now this seems to show that this is the front and this is at the back. So this is the same latitude. So at the center of the Earth is the equator. So the equator is the one that divides the Earth into two equal parts, which is the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. So the equator is the middle latitude that will divide the Earth into two equal parts. So remember, latitudes they the latitudes they run uh, they, they run from uh, east to west. All right. Then we also have what we call longitudes. So these are imaginary lines that are drawn on the Earth's surface and they run from north all the way up to the south. So the longitudes, they run from north all the way up to the south. And these longitudes, they are very useful when it comes to calculating time. So longitudes are useful when it comes to calculating time. The longitude that would divide the Earth into two equal halves into the western side and the eastern side is called the Greenwich Meridian. And most of the time, uh, the times of the world are calculated from here, hence the name GMT, which simply means Greenwich Meridian Time. Okay, so we begin to look into our issues, which is how to locate points. Now, how do we locate points on the Earth's surface? So point number one here is always remember when you are locating the points that are located on the surface of the Earth, we always write them in forms of coordinates, just like the way we write the X comma Y. But when it comes to Earth geometry, here we are going to write latitude, okay? So latitude comma longitude. So that is how we write our coordinates, latitude comma longitude. For example, this question they are saying, write down the positions of the points A to G. So if we are locating A, we first of all have to check where is our A. So our A is right here, right here. This is where our A is. And here you can check the latitude that is there is 80 degrees north. So A here, you write 80 degrees north. So this is 80 uh, degrees north, comma. So this is latitude. Then what longitude? So the longitude is this one here, this one here, as you can see, and it is labeled as the 43 degrees east. So we have our 43 degrees east. All right. Then we go to B. 
B also, like I said, since this one is just a dotted line, it shows that it is behind this one that is in front, so it is also equally 80 degrees what north. So if we are to locate the point B, this one will also be equal to, okay, so that is 80 degrees north, 80 degrees north, uh, comma. So we check this one, it is on this latitude here, okay, so this is the latitude, we follow it. We follow this latitude, you can see it is labeled, this one here, which is 64 degrees west. So we have our 64 degrees west, okay. So that is B. We can proceed. C. Let's locate C. C is here. So C is actually on the equator here. This is zero degrees. So zero degrees, there's nothing like it's north, east, or whatever. It has got no sign. So we we'll just write zero degrees, comma. Then we look at the longitude. Okay, the longitude will still be 64 degrees what west. So please, I'm emphasizing, I'm emphasizing. I don't need to check through everything, but the point is you have to say latitude, comma, longitude. So when you check this point, the latitude here is zero, then the longitude is this one, which is 64, hence that one. Let's try D. So D will be equal to, okay, so point D is here. Now this is behind this one here, and when we check, this is 60 degrees, what, south. So we write, this is 60 degrees south okay 60 degrees south comma then this is d d is on what longitude so when we check the longitude that is uh right here uh d we check the longitude okay has this longitude been uh been measured uh, has it been uh, labeled okay so this is the longitude that we have there it has not uh, been labeled okay so let's see on what we have here so that one is actually the middle. So the GMT, the middle one, is also the zero degrees. So since it has not been labeled, it will be what? Zero degrees. So that is about the GMT, which I mentioned. The middle one is actually the one which touches the north and the shan, and, and the south. That one is the zero degrees. All right. So that is the format. So when you go to E also, you do the same. So at E here, you are going to say it is on 60 degrees comma this is 43 degrees east when you go to f this one is also 60 degrees south comma 64 degrees west then when you go to g g let's locate g so g is only uh, also zero degrees so g was zero comma zero zero degrees comma zero degrees so please locating point is very important because from locating point we are also going to be able to calculate the distances all right, so you can just go through. These are the answers that we were dealing with. Okay, these are the answers that we were dealing with. Confirm through and just make sure that everything is correct. So otherwise, the concept here is this one is always latitude, comma, longitude. Okay, so latitude, comma, longitude. That is how it is always supposed to be. All right, points to note as you are trying to dive into this subject and just calculate all the concepts, the first one is that great circles are, are circles that are formed by longitude. So there are two circles on the Earth. We are saying the Earth forms two circles. There is what we call the great circles. Now the great circles, these are the circles formed by what the longitude. So a circle along a line of longitude is known as a great circles. And these great circles, their radius are equivalent to the radius of the Earth, which is 63, uh, 63, 70 kilometers or 34, 37 kilometers. All right. We also have uh, the circumference of a great circle, which is given by this formula here. So this is just 2 multiplied by the pi multiplied by the R, which is this one. So capital letter R is always that one there, or this one in nautical mouse. All right. Then we also have what we call a small circle. So a small circle is simply a circle along a line of latitude. So small circles are circles along a line of what? Latitude. And their radius is given by R, uh, small letter R is equals to capital letter R cos X. Now, this capital letter R we are talking about here is the 63, 
70 provided you are dealing with kilometers then cos x here it's cos latitude so that same latitude you've been given that is it, the x that we are talking about here all right so the circumference for a small circle will be given by 2 pi small letter r all right and we know that small uh, small letter r will be given by this one here all right so these are the few points that you really have to note as we are going to continue with the calculations of things such as distance along a great circle and also we calculate distance along a small circle then we are going to calculate the shortest distance and finally we we'll conclude this topic by uh, calculating time and also speed so please enjoy as i take you through these concepts okay so we want to know how to find the distance along a circle of longitude now distance along a circle of longitude is also known as uh, uh, a great circle so uh, distance along a circle of longitude is also known as a great circle so now we want to use this example just to see how we can calculate the distance along a great circle so let's look at this example the question is the points A, B, C, D and E are on the surface of the A as shown below. So this is what we have been shown here. We have our A, B, C, D and E. And the question reads, calculate the distance between A and E in kilometers. Then B, calculate the distance A and B in what? Nautical miles. Now, the distance as the title suggests, we are dealing with the what? The longitude. So, the formula to use here is simply distance. Okay, so the formula to use is simply distance is equal to theta over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by factorator r. Okay, so now let's look at the meaning of this formula. This theta here it means difference. Okay. It means difference in latitudes. Difference in latitudes. Now, when we are finding the difference in latitudes, if you are dealing with the same poles, so when you are dealing with the same poles, when you are dealing with the same poles, you simply subtract. Okay? So simply subtract. So dealing with the same poles, simply subtract. What do I mean? If you have been given north, and north, then you are going to subtract. If you have been given south and south, you are simply going to subtract. But if you are given a situation like north and south, to find the difference in degrees, you are supposed to add. So that is about difference in degrees, as you are going to see in the examples. Alright, then we also have pi, so this value of pi, we have it on the calculator right here, just press shift and then exp, pi will come, but in the exam, they are usually going to be giving this value as 3.142, okay, then lastly in the formula, we have r, so this r, this is the radius, uh, of the x surface, which is given as 63.70 kilometers or 34.37 in nautical miles. So we have to know this information for us to successively solve such a question. All right, let's now see how we can apply it. Now the question that will come is in the exam. They won't tell you, like the way our title is to say we are dealing with the uh, circles, uh, the, uh, the great circles. They won't tell you, it will be you to figure out. Now, how do you figure out? Please follow me. How you figure out is when you collect the data. Data is simply collecting the information that you have been given in the question. So, let's collect the data for A. So, here they've told us we are finding distance between A and B. E. So, you have to Collect the coordinates for A. The coordinates for A here, we have 40 degrees north, comma, 20 degrees east. So this is 40 degrees north, comma, 20 degrees east. Okay, and then E, we have, so for E, we have, 
This is 20 degrees south, okay? So 20 degrees south, comma, 20 degrees east. That is what we are having. This one has been labeled for us. And then also that one has been labeled. Alright, so we continue. Now, I was asking a question. How do you know that you are dealing with the longitude and the circle of longitude or not? So if you find that in the first letter that we have given you and in the second one, the longitudes are the same. Like here, we have the same longitude. So same longitude. So if you are dealing with the same longitude, then you are dealing with what? A great circle. Okay? Then you are dealing with a great circle. So meaning, automatically you know that to find any, the formula to be used is theta over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by r. Okay? So, like we said, uh, this uh, theta here is simply the difference in degrees. So since it is the difference in degrees, we are now going to subtract these ones here. These ones are the same. You can't subtract them. These, they are just there to help you identify what you are dealing with. Okay, then this and this, like we said, the signs here are different. Meaning, to find the difference in degrees there, we are simply going to add. So, difference in degrees theta is equal to 40 plus 20. And this one is going to give us 60 degrees, what is uh, 60 degrees. So, this one will be 60 degrees divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 6370 uh, kilometers. Alright, so we continue there. We can punch on the calculator and see what value we are going to get. So, we are saying 60 over 360 multiplied by uh, 2 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 63.70 and this one is giving us, so first of all you have to write the full value 6671.53333 then now you can write this one to either one decimal place or to four significant figures Okay? So if you are writing it to three uh, to four significant figures, one, two, three, four, then it is going to be six, six, seven, one kilometers. Or if you are writing it to one decimal place, it's, it's also allowed, it will be six, six, seven, one point five kilometers. Alright, so that is how we solve uh, question A. Okay, let's see if we can now also solve question B. Okay, so in question B, let's collect the data as well. Now, in question B, we are finding the distance between A and B, and this one should be in nautical miles. Okay, so collecting the data, we have our A here, which is 40, okay, so 40 degrees north or 20 degrees east. So data there, we are going to have our A as 40 degrees north, comma, 20 degrees east. Then our B, we have, so let's check B. Uh, B is 80 degrees north. So this is 80 degrees north, comma, 20 degrees east. So that's what we have. So again here, in the exam, you have a choice to make. Is this the great circle or a small circle? But here you can see, the longitudes are the same, so since the longitudes are the same, then you know that you are dealing with distance along a circle of longitude, which is also called the great circle. So the formula to use is AB is equal to theta divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by uh, so r. Okay, now this one they say we are finding in nautical, in nautical mass. So when you are finding the nautical mouse, let's substitute here theta, look at, so the theta we say is the difference in latitudes, and these latitudes here, we have this, they have the same sign, north, north, the same pole. So since it's north, north, to find that theta there, we are simply going to say 80 minus 40, okay, 80 minus 40, which is giving us 40 degrees. So this one is going to be 40 divided by 
360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by R. Now, R, because it's nautical miles, we are going to have 34, 37 nautical miles. So let's punch that one on the calculator and see what value we are getting. Alright, so that one is 40 uh, over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 34, 37 nautical miles and this is the value we are having 23.99.789777 and 8 so we can round off this one now to 4 if we are rounding this one to 4 significant figures 1, 2, 3, 4 then the value we are going to have is 24 100 D multiple marks so that is our answer and the question has been sorted out ok so now we look at distance along a circle of latitude now distance along a circle of latitude so a circle of latitude is also known as a small circle so we want to now see how we can calculate distance along a small circle so here the formula now becomes distance distance is equal to theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r then cos latitude okay so this is the simplified way in which the formula can be expressed other books will express it in different ways but this is the best way I can express it now but now we know that theta in this instance it will mean difference in longitudes so it will mean difference in longitudes okay so difference in longitudes then pi by now we know that in books they will be giving us the value of 3.142 then uh, r here R, that is the radius on the edge surface, which is 6370 kilometers. So please, when you are be taught to find distance in kilometers, this is the value to use for R. But when you've been given, when you've been taught to find nautical miles, the value for R to use is 34, 37 nautical miles. Alright, so this is what you are supposed to do, I think. Uh, to know about the formula. So now, solving the question that we have been given here, uh, let's first of all collect the data for the first one. The example reads, the diagram below shows a wire model of the earth with the points P, Q, R and S. So we have P, Q, R and S, okay, which are marked on each. Then the question reads, calculate the distance between P and Q in kilometers. So A, we are finding the distance P and Q in kilometers. Alright, so we can get rid of this one. Then we now write uh, the data. So first thing to do is to collect the data. So let's collect the data in solving that question. So we collect the data. This one will be uh, data for A. We know that a for, for the first one, since they are saying between P and Q, so we are going to write the coordinates for P, that's the first thing we we'll do. So the coordinates for P here, P is here, the latitude is 50 degrees north, and then the longitude is 90 degrees east. So we have go, uh, 50 degrees north, comma, 90 degrees what is east. Then for Q, let's write for Q, Q is here. This is also 50 degrees north. Remember, this thing they call it, this is in front, then this dotted line is behind. So, even this side is to be the same latitude, which is 50. So, this one is 50 degrees north, 50 degrees north, comma. Then we check the longitude here, where Q is, we check the longitude has been marked in 60 degrees west. So, comma, 60 degrees what? West. Alright, so now. How do we identify whether it's a distance along a latitude or along a longitude? It's very simple. So here we can check, since the latitudes here are the ones that are the same, so latitudes are the same. 
So if latitudes are same, it means you are dealing with a small circle. So you are dealing with a small circle. And if you are dealing with a small circle, then the distance in this distance will be PQ is equal to theta over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by, uh, so this is multiplied by pi multiplied by R then cos what? Latitude. Okay? Cos latitude. Why latitude? Now the latitudes are the same. So whether you get for P or for Q, it's the same field. So that's what it means there. So we substitute this one will be equal to our theta here to be difference in the longitudes. So difference in longitudes, because we have east and west, we are simply going to add the two. Because this is this, this is different force, we simply do what? Add to find the difference. So it will be 90 plus east. So this one is 90 plus east, which is giving us uh, 150 degrees. So that is our theta, we know now it is 150 degrees. So we have 150 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by our R here. Uh, our R is in kilometers, so we use 63, 70 uh, kilometers multiplied by cos 50 degrees because it is cos what? Latitude, which is this one. So we substitute. Then now we can get, uh, we can punch that one on our calculator and see what value it is giving us. Alright, so that is 150 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 6370 multiplied by cos 50 degrees. And here, Okay, assuming we have punched this, uh, this, uh, this uh, let's, let me just start afresh, so that is 150 over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 6370 multiplied by cos 50 degrees. So this one is giving us something like one zero okay one zero seven two zero nine one five two seven in kilometers okay so we can we round off this one we can round off this one okay so since there is a point okay actually yeah, there is a point after here there's point here so we can just say this is one zero seven two zero point nine kilometers so that is our distance between P and Q that is how it is done okay so now let's solve also the distance between Q and R and this one is nautical mouse so we're going to collect the data we write the coordinates for Q so Q here, we check, this is 150 degrees north, so that is 50 degrees north, comma, okay, so this one is 260 degrees west, then we go to uh, ARA, okay, so ARA is this one here, which is, which is also still on the same latitude, which is 50 degrees north, comma, 30 degrees west. Okay, so this is what we have. So again, as you can see, since these, these two points are on the same latitude, it means that we are dealing with the, a small circle. So this is distance along the circle of what? Is latitude. So therefore, the formula is going to be QR is equal to theta over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3.142. That is our uh, uh, our pi, then multiplied by, because now where there is R, okay, where there is R, we are going to put 34, 37, because we are finding the margin, not equal mouse. Then this will be multiplied by cos, okay, this one will be cos 50, because this is cos latitude. 
Then here on theta, we are going to find the difference in e longitudes here. And now because they have the same sign, waste, waste, it means we are subtract, subtracting. So this one will be 60 minus 30, which is equal to 30. So what we are going to have now is, this one will be equal to 30 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 34, 37 multiplied by cos 50. Okay, so we can evaluate this one using our calculator, which is 30 over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 34, 37 multiplied by Okay, multiplied by cos 50, cos 50, and this one is going to give us uh, 1, 1, 5, 6, okay, 5, 6, 4, 9, 1, 6, 3, 5, 1, not 4, mouse, we round off this one to, so we can round off this one to 4 significant, or we can either write it like, 1156.9 multiple miles, or you can say it's 1157 multiple miles. So both of them will be correct. So that is how you deal with that the distance along the circle of latitude. So please let's remember the, four, the two formulas. So the two formulas we have one, let me just we have done these two, let me just give. Uh, recap on the two formulas so that you master these are the two important formulas that you are going to encounter when it comes to what to distance. Okay, so I'm saying the one for the, the formula number one to know is where we are saying theta okay over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. So this one is for great circle. Okay, a great what? Circle, which is a circle along what? The longitude. Okay, along the longitude. Then this difference here is the difference. So this theta is difference in latitude. Okay, then the second formula is theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi. R cos what? Cos uh, cos latitude. Cos latitude. So meaning this theta here is the difference is the difference in longitude. It's the difference in longitude. So once we understand these two concepts and also the fact that when you are finding in kilometers the R to use is 63, 70. And when you are finding the multiple miles, the R to use is 34, 37. That one will get you to sort out different types of what of questions. All right. Now, why the difference here? So this part here, in some other books, you find the formula written like this: over 360 multiplied by 2 pi and the small r. So this one, this small r here is the same as r. This one is equal to r cos c. Either. So if you want, you can use a small r. If you want, you can use this one. But I'm strongly advising write the formula as I've written it because it becomes simple and straightforward. All right. Okay. So uh, let's also learn about shortest distance on the earth surface. Now you know that there are two distances on the earth surface. It's either the distance along the great circle or the distance along the small circle. Now, the shortest distance here is very simple. One thing that you have to know is please note that the shortest distance, the shortest distance for the X surface, so the shortest distance for the X surface is always along a great circle which is always along a great circle alright so now having 
understood that one, we are talking about if you want to find that in this instance, we are supposed to find the distance, the shortest distance between A and C. Now, when we look at A and C, A and C, you might be tempted just to find. Now, you are not sure. They have just said shortest distance. Am I finding the distance between me? Uh, am I finding the distance along this longitude, or am I finding the distance along the same latitude? Now, since A and C are on the same latitude here, but you in your mind, because you are saying shortest distance, you have to know that okay, shortest distance it has to be along the same what longitude. So because this one and this one are here, meaning they have to form an angle. So here it is going to be like this. Uh, uh, here it should be the center of the head because all these angles here. They are written with respect to the center of the head. So, meaning from there to the center of the head, also this one from the center of the head, and then the equator here, you are going to assume that it is a straight line. So, meaning what they are saying here is the distance now here, okay? So, the distance between uh, A and the center here, which is the equator 0 degrees, here we have 70 degrees. Even here, because longitude is the pass, this is in front and this is at the back. So, since it is the same longitude here, even here it is still the same 70. So, even here we are going to avoid 70. So, this angle here, this is the difference in uh, the difference in latitude between these two here. Okay, so the difference between this one and this one, this is it, what we're going to have here. So, because we have already figured out that the shortest distance is the distance along a great circle. So, automatically, given the formula that we are looking for, we know that AC is equal to theta over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by what? R. Okay, yeah, so this is the way it is supposed to be. Now, here, uh, let's just find the nautical mouse. So the arrow we're going to use is 34, 37 nautical mouse, but the questions will always be clear. Okay, so having known that one, so where do you get the theta? Because remember, I was advising the issue of collecting data. So if we write the coordinates, let's just write the coordinates. So the coordinates for A here, for this A, we have got 70 degrees north. 70 degrees north, comma, 72 degrees what in? east. Alright? Then we go to B, okay? B, uh, uh, so to C, since we are doing AC, so to C, C is there, which is 70 degrees, okay? Now, that, this one here is on the other side, so we we'll assume it's 70 degrees south, comma, uh, what we don't know, so we don't know. So, meaning, we cannot find the difference. Uh, we, we cannot find because here it is the same here. So this one cannot work. It will just confuse us. So this method of collecting data, it cannot work here. So what you have to bear in mind all the time is this. Whenever you are finding uh, the shortest distance on the earth's surface, please always remember that there is an angle involved. Okay? And when you collect data and you find yourself in a situation like what happened here, just know that that procedure cannot work. So what you have to go for is actually this, where you have to make this angle here in between. Okay, now look at, this is a straight line. So a straight line, angles of a straight line, they add up to 180. So what you're going to do is, you are just going to add 70 plus theta plus 70 is equal to 180 because angles of the straight line they add up to 180. Okay, so this one will be theta is equal to 180. Then this 70 and this 70 gives us 140. When it crosses to the other side, it is going to be minus 140. Okay, so we subtract that one, our theta is going to be 40 degrees. Okay, so we have found that one. Now let's see if we can substitute in here. So we are going to have 40 divided by. 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 34, 37 nautical miles. Okay, so that is what you do. Please remember, whenever shortest distance is involved, what you have to do is, whenever shortest distance is involved, just know that you have to find this angle in. Okay, what I've done here is what you're supposed to do. And how you know that is when every time this is involved. Okay, 
So let's punch on the calculator and see what value we're going to come up with. So that is 40 over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 34, 37, and this one is giving us 2399.789778. So we round off this one. Uh, if you can round off to 1, 2, 3, 4 significant figures, we just going to have 2400 nautical miles. But for those who apply it to one decimal place, even this one will be accepted. 2399.8 nautical miles. Then this one will be okay. Alright, so that is how you deal with the, the shortest distance on the XYT surface. Please remember, whenever you are dealing with shortest distance on the X surface, that's what I think there is where you are supposed to find an angle in a similar manner like this one. And distance, shortest distance from the X surface is always the distance in a great circle. So a great circle is a circle of what? Is a circle along a what? Longitude. So that is how you handle with it, and that is how you handle this one. So I'm sure with this concept that we have learned, you have no problem with uh, F geometry and you are assured of success in the exams. Okay, so we now look at the uh, time calculation. So now, a few things that you have to know about time calculation is uh, whenever you are trying to find time, you always use the longitude. So, longitudes are the ones that are used in time calculation. So, these ones are used in what is time calculation. Okay, so what do we need to know about these longitudes? So according to the standard measurements that we have, if you have to know that 15 degrees is equivalent to 1 hour, so 15 degrees is equivalent to 1 hour, these are very important points that you need to know. Then you also have to know that 1 degree is equivalent to 4 minutes. Okay, so 1 degree is equivalent to 4 minutes. 15 degrees is equal to 1 hour. Alright, so having that knowledge, then also since we are dealing with the longitude here, so whenever we are dealing with the longitude, I'm sure you know that we have the east and the west. Okay, so the, the, the pose to consider here is the west and the east. Now, just like the way it is on the number line, when you are going to the east, you are gaining time. So this one, the east is associated with plus. Then the west is associated with what? Negative. Because when you are going to the west, you are losing what? Time. When going to the east, you are gaining in time. So that you should bear in mind. So what am I talking about? For example, if I have, uh, this is the GMT zero degrees, then I have this position A, which is maybe let's say 15, uh, this one is 15 degrees uh, east, then I go to the next one, which will be 30 degrees east, and this is it, B. So what is happening here is this. When the time here at 15 degree is, uh, let's say it is 10 hours, okay? So since you are going towards the east here, meaning at 30 degrees east here, we expect that here it is going to be 11 hours. So you are getting time. So as you are going to the east, you are getting what? Time. But when you are going to the west, you are losing what? Time. Okay, so those are the simple basics that you need to understand just before we dive into the what? into the calculations. Okay, so we've had some knowledge about it, how to calculate distance. Now we are talking about how to calculate time. So after knowing how to calculate time, also let me just uh, remind people like what we did on distance. We were saying whenever you are calculating, for example, if you have to find the difference in degrees, okay, I also have something here which is point C, which maybe will be 15 degrees west. So if you want to find the difference in longitude, when you are on the same side, the same side as in this east, you subtract. But when you have two different sides, west and east, to find the difference in degrees, you are simply going to add them. So that point is very important and it is going to work for people. Alright, so let's see now if we can also give a comment on speed. So 
So usually when we are dealing with speed, we use the same formula that we always know. Speed is equal to distance over time. Okay? So speed is equal to distance over time. So now when it comes to F geometry, the speed is usually recorded in e, what we call knots. Okay? Speed has got the SI units, knots. So these are the knots that we use. Now, if you are to find the speed in knots, then you have to make sure that your distance that you are using here is in e, not for miles. Okay? So make sure that the distance that you are using is in not for miles. And the time here should be in e, hours. So when you just uh, when, when you uh, divide these the nautical miles divided by the hours, what you're going to come up with, uh, with is what is the knots. All right. So that is how you handle the issue of who? speed. So with this knowledge, I'm sure you'll be able to perform time calculations and you'll also be able to calculate speed and distance. All right. So let's look at the example that we have on the board. And this example has been extracted from 2019 Mathematics Paper 2 uh, Mathematics Paper 1, sorry, question 11 So, this is Paper 1 and uh, we don't usually use a calculator so we are going to do what we can to sort out uh, to sort it out without a calculator So, the question reads The diagram below shows the positions of towns A, B, and C on the F to G surface. So this is what we have. We have town A here. So if we are just to collect the data here, let's try and collect the data to simplify our work. So town A is located on me. So uh, here, this one is on 60 degrees north. Okay, we write its coordinates 60 degrees north, comma. So here, uh, this is A, it is on 20 degrees east. So this is 20 degrees what? East. Then let's go to town B. Town B is on 20 degrees south. So town B, this is 20 degrees south, comma. Okay, town B, so this is also, it is on 20 degrees east. So this is 20 degrees what? East. Then we go to town C. This one, town C here, uh, is on E. Uh, this one is from 20 degrees south, comma, and 5 degrees east. So 20 degrees uh, south, comma, 95 degrees what? East. So this is the information that we have. All right, let's read the question. A. If it is in hours at A, what time is it at G? C. So here they are telling us here at A, it is 8 hours. Then here at C, what time is it? So now, if I can just try to interpret this information, it's like this, 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 I'll write like this. This is my A is on this one, so I'll write this line like this. This is the, where A is, okay? And this A is actually on the longitude. Remember, whenever you are uh, calculating time, you only consider longitude. So this longitude here, it is actually, they've given us this longitude A is it 20 degrees east and they've told us the time here is 80 hours 20 minutes so it's 0, 8, 20 at A then we are going to C you see C is also here so our C let me put my C here and this one they've told me it's 95 degrees east and the time here we don't know so this is what we're supposed to write to find alright so now first thing foremost Look at, we are still going from 20 east to 95 east, meaning we are going towards the east. So, we are actually gaining what? Time. So, if it is 8 hours, we expect that it will be more than 8 hours in. So, time will always keep what? Moving. So, the first thing that we are going to do is, we are going to find the difference in these longitudes. And because it's east, east, the difference we are supposed to do what? To subtract. So, there, the difference uh, in, 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 in the longitudes be equal to 95 degrees east minus, minus 20 degrees what east. So because we don't have a calculator, let's try and do it ourselves without a calculator. So this is 5 there, and this one will give us 75. Okay, so having the difference of 75 degrees now, you get the ratio which we gave, which says 
15 degrees is equal to 1 hour. Okay? So we are converting now these degrees into hours by using this relationship to say 15 degrees is the cost of 1 hour. Then how about 75 degrees will give us what? Okay? How about 75 degrees? How many hours is it going to give us? So we cross multiply this one. Okay, so if we cross multiply this one, we are going to have 15x being equal to 75. Then we can divide there, we can divide there. So this one and that one will go. So x is equal to, so the secret here is, if you are not sure about something, you can uh, reduce these numbers. So we can use, for example, we can just use, uh, let's use 5 in here. If we say 5 in here, we are going to have a 3, okay? Then if we say 5 in here, we are going to have 1, carry 2. Then 5 in here, we are going to have what? Uh, 5 here, so that is 15. Then 3 in 3, 1. 3 in here is 5. So it is giving us 5 hours. So the secret to paper 1 is whenever you are dividing, make sure you simplify your uh, terms. Okay, so we have 5 hours now. Then after we know that, okay, if there is a difference of 5 hours between this one and this one, so it means if it is 820 here, the time here will be 820 plus. So as we are going to the east, we are adding the hours. So now that is where we add our time. So this is 0, 8, uh, 20 here. Then we add the, word, the 5 hours. So this is 0, 5, like that. We add. So this one is 0. This one is 2 there. Okay, and 8 plus 5, it is uh, 13, so this is 3, carry 1, 0 plus 0, plus that one. So this is the time at what in? At C. Alright, so that is the simple principle that you are supposed to understand. So the first thing is, find the difference in degrees, then you convert the difference in degrees into time. After you convert it into time, then you check. Am I going to the east? If you are going to the east, then you are going to add that time. If you are going to the west, you are going to subtract that time. So that is the simple concept that you need in order for you to successfully calculate your team. Time. Supposing you had, supposing after dividing here, you had some remainder. So that remainder, you could have just multiplied it by 4, so that you convert it into a team. Minutes, because remember, we wrote something which was saying, 1 degree is equivalent to a team. Four minutes. So if at all you are dividing, let me just give an example of that one. Uh, so supposing, uh, supposing we had the seventy-seven. Okay. Supposing we were saying seventy-seven was the difference in degrees. So how 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 could we have found the time in this case? So we would have said the same thing. Fifteen degrees is equal to one hour. Okay. Then seventy-seven is equal to x. So definitely we would have had something like here. 15x is equal to 77. And we divide by 15 and we divide by 15. So here the answer would have been 5b remainder. So 5 remainder 2. Okay. Now what do we do with these two letters remain? So we are going to have 5 hours. 5 hours. We have found this one. Then the remainder 2, we just multiply it by what? By 4. Because they are minutes. So, because you are going to say 1 degree is equal to 4 minutes, then 2 degrees is equal to x. So, when you cross multiply there, you are going to say 2 times 4. Then here we are going to have 5 hours, then 80 minutes. I'm sure you are going to encounter this one, especially in the two type of questions. Alright, let's solve the last part of the question, which has got something to do with what is speed. Okay, and the question reads, a plane flies from A to B, a plane flies from A to B, a plane flies from A to B, okay, from A to B at a speed of 400, so data collection is very important, we collect the data and we have our speed there, they are telling us that it's 400 knots. So 400 knots, okay, 400 knots. How long does the journey take if AB is equal to 4,800 knots per mile? So we have our distance, which is equal to 4,000 
800 uh, multiple miles. Then how long? How long? This part here, how long? This one simply means the time. So our time here is equal to question mark. Now the only thing that uh, that relates this three is the formula speed is equal to distance over time. So since we are finding time, we can just make t the subject of the formula. So you do that, we are going to have s t is equal to t. So divided by s and divided by s. So we have a formula time is equal to distance over speed. So this one, just take our distance, which is 4,800 nautical miles. You divide this one by 400. Okay? So this one was easier. 0 and 0 will go. 0 and 0 will go. Then 4 into 4, 1. 4 into this one, 1. 4 into this one, 2. So our time here is equal to 12 hours. And you are done with the question. Alright, in some instances, they will ask you to find speed. So make sure that every time you are dealing with speed under F geometry and they, 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 are, they want you to find the speed in knots, make sure you convert. If they give you the distance in kilometers, then the distance should be converted to a T to knots. And time should always be in uh, time, time should always be in hours, then distance should always be in nautical miles. So nautical miles and hours is what makes one T the knots. Right.